about Burr rushing. Let's get into this beautiful fourth game. Secret Valley. Pretty much another dried bear map. Uh, most definitely, because you can also see Naga on this map, actually. That's definitely also viable. But dry bears is usually nicer to go for in this map, because then in early, in early game you get Huntresses. Huntresses have more HP. And healing fountains work in the way that it, that they heal HP percentage-wise. So if you have an archer at 1 HP and a grunt at 1 HP, they both get to full HP at the same time. Which means you spend the same time healing up at the healing fountain and get the same percentage of HP back. But in actual HP points, the grunt heals up more HP back. per second, far more HP per second. Because the Grunt has 700 or 800 HP, depending on if he has Protective Strength or not, and the Archer only 245. So they take the same time to heal up, but Grunt heals more HP per second. So the Healing Fountains are a lot better for Dryad Spares, because the only other option really is Archer's Talents, and both of those units have quite a low HP pool, so HP per second at the Healing Fountain is really quite low. So that's why Dryad Spares are usually played on this map. And there we go, Rich already going for an early hunter's all. He's going for into hunter's play, which also means right there. Sonic, though, no hunter's all. Seems like he doesn't want to go into hunts and maybe switch something up here. Players forces are under attack. Not the best map to not go into hunter's play and right spares, I would say. But Sonic's gonna do it. Maybe he's still gonna get a, get a late hunter's all. Do it like last game, roughly, where he... What's the last game or the game before that? Where he went into, like... Two or three archers and then into Dryad Bear. That could also be the case. Could also just be a case that he just goes for more archers and actually goes for five or six archers together with Naga and tier two, with archer range upgrade and tries to secure the red rakes at the, the healing fountain. That's what Dryad Bear play can't really do, and that's what Archer Talon is nice for securing those red rakes, getting nice items and a lot of XP here. And so far, it really looks like he's actually gonna go into Archer Talon play. Which I really like to see because then both players go for a different strategy. Just makes for a much more interesting game. Sonic just trying to be aggressive here. He actually denied one of the Gnola Assassins with his Ancient of War. So that's why he's missing 48 XP. You and he got trapped in the base. Damn, that was quite close. Gets trapped in the base, he will be able to cancel out Moonwell. But he's not gonna get out there unless he uses his TP. Moonwell's being built outside of the base. And the demon hunter can't reach them. Keeping the base close with the archer here and the engine of war. But if Rich is not careful, never mind. Sonic's not gonna get out of here. He will have to TP or lose his demon hunter. And the thing with the strategy is first of all, Sonic has an early attack. He will have more archers and he will probably go he will go for Naga most likely. While Rich will probably go for a keeper with Dryad's bears. So Sonic can hit a timing where he where he can hurt Rich a lot with that Archer Naga push. TP's out now, has to be careful about his Archer they should start running now. Doesn't want to lose his Demon Hunter. And actually completely heals up at Moonwells, even Apparently without dropping the Circlight first. So it's really like he didn't want to waste much time. He doesn't want to try to heal up heal at Healing Fountain. It would be more efficient for Moonwell shoes. But as I said, He's going for that 6 archer push basically, and four moving already. He has to root him in again though at some point, he needs to get that range upgrade, it's quite important. And he held up his team hunter at the healing fountain, um, at the moon wells, because he wants to have him ready right away again to be able to go for that kind of push. There we go, double engine of wind. But so far it seems like he's only solo harassing with his team hunter, getting level 2 with his archers here finally. While Rich wants some boots as well, a staff at least it seems. He didn't get it at this shop because Sonic already bought staff and boots at that shop. And Rich now actually, he just wants to go for the counter push, he wants to cancel tier 2 buildings. That's also what Sonic wanted to do, doesn't really work out though, because Rich still has enough space I'll in the back of the base. Uh, Never mind, attack. I was wondering why Rich is going for a second Angel 4, it's the, it's the Angel 4 of Sonic though. That's a really cool move. Because this makes it so Rich cannot get both his production buildings right away. And Sonic is only scouting for that. 
Like, this is just to try to deny the second production building, the second Angel of Lore of Rich. And that is really, really cool. Because, I mean, this is also pretty much closed, so until this finishes, Rich can't really go into a space to kill this Angel of War. And it's gone by so much time. There's the Angel of Wonders now for Rich. Easily gets cancelled though. Dark Ranger for Rich as the second hero. Did He first went for the Keeper, I guess. He was building a hero there. Goes for the, for the Dark Ranger and setup because he realized... Oh, no way! Damn! He goes for Dark Ranger against Archers and Talons. But Sonic, holy shit, are under attack. Sonic is going for the surprise strategy, he's going for the cheese. He will easily be able to secure the red race as well with Hippogriff, and he's going for goddamn Hippogriff riders. Holy damn dude. And that Ancient of Lore is bothering Rich so much, there's still no second Ancient of Lore. There's more archers coming. And... Now he's gonna scout, now he sees it, now he has to be aware of it. What is he gonna do against it though? It's so god damn beautiful, dude. That's so cool to see. Finally, an interesting dino flora, Kappa. But, oh, it's really awesome, but his archers outside of the base, it's maybe not the best position to be at. And, oh, that hurts so much now, with his archers being outside of base. Sonic just tries to go for it right here, Angel 4 definitely helping with that. Yeah, Super Group Virus, that's so... Oh, dude, that's so cool. It's especially nice on this map because, I mean, they have quite some high-age people, so hitting up the moon walls is quite nice. And also you can just drop them, easily creep the healing fund and all that stuff. Uh, not healing up the moon walls, but rather healing up that healing fund, I mean. But now it's basically a base trade scenario. But Rich doesn't really want to fully commit to it, he's TPing now. The thing is, Rich killed the Ancient of Force, so no more archer production. Which really sucks for Sonic. Oh, did he micro- he didn't micro that in time, he's gonna lose the Hippogriff Rider. Oh, sounds so sad when it, uh, like them screaming like that. So now Ancient Protector here, it's not working out so well for Sonic so far, because he just didn't get so many Hippogriff Riders at all. He needs mass of them. Town is under siege. Double Angel Ancient 4 coming up. He needs Double Angel 4. One Angel 4 wouldn't be enough to really catch up now. No second hero. And oh no. That's so unfortunate for Sonic. He plays a cool strategy and he's like the one that's never lucky. We'll still be able to save that Hippogriff Rider though, so it's fine. But he has to somehow... He basically has to play this like Gargoyle play from Undead. Sort of. Like just buy enough time to get mass army like Frostworm in the case of Undead. And then at some point go for a straight up fight, maybe. He's not going for a second hero, so he can just invest more into this. Going for talents already, it seems like Sonic might transition back into a standard play, like standard archer talent play. But this is really cool to see, I really like this. Damn, that's not the case. Black Sparrow with my last. God damn it, dude. I know what that word means, bro. Is that the case? Anyway. Looking good for Rich so far. He's just a fan of Archers and Dead Angel Protector. Able to keep his Wisp safe. But the second Angel... Well, Angel of Wonders actually is not gonna come up so easily. Like, the thing with Hippogriff Fires is they have quite a fast attack speed and... Well, the damage is okay. Not that much, but... The attack speed is what does it. And then being air units. They're still really not a great units, but... I mean... Can work out. This has worked out in a tournament once before, I think. Maybe it was even Sonic that even played it. I'm not 100% sure. I think he actually lost another Hippogriff Rider. Oh no, he just sent her back to healing. That Rich just creeping more, getting strong hero levels. A player's and what is this now? He's getting more Hippogriff Riders, he's also getting talent. Uh, I'm not even sure what he's gonna go for at this point. Is he going for like Hippogriff Rider, Talon Archer? I don't even know. I mean, it could work out quite well. Like, I think he's just preparing for a straight up fight, and that's why he's going for talent. The thing is, he has to basically keep his Hippogriff Riders because there's no single area in from Rich. So if he just gets him down from the saddle, then, saddle, then it's like Hippogriffs don't do anything. I guess he's gonna keep harassing, try to bang a lot of gold and 50 supply. 
and just the rest Rich a lot, especially cancel that shop over and over again. Because the funny thing is Rich just can't get that shop up. If he gets it here, it can easily get cancelled from here. If he gets it out here, it can get cancelled from here. And Rich really needs that shop. So like for staff and animal pot and, um well healing pot and all that stuff. So he's gonna secure it with his whole army at this point. Gets animal pot for Samantha, he actually keeps the scroll of beast in this potion for Samantha as well to try to steal items, creeps or whatever. That's a definitely a nice thing to go for. A player's force is and keeps the scroll of the beast because he's not going for any bears. Sonic has to be careful here. It's quite dangerous. Oh, this friend is still getting slowed. Damn, she's in a bit of trouble, but she, sh she will definitely get away still. Can still fly across here and all that stuff. But Sonic actually turning this around into more of a straight up fight. He wants to pick some units off here. The thing is, Hypocrite Fires don't have so low HP at all, like 765 is still quite a bit. And I can easily snap out right, so that's what Sonic just said. He's trying to get good trades, buy some time, bank some gold, and go for a nice unit composition here. Also going for tier 3. He's really just buying so much time to be able to transition into normal play, basically. The thing is, with a solo demon hunter, probably. Maybe he's still gonna get Naga, but probably actually solo demon hunter. And the Super Crusher is buying so much time. Rich has no scouting information at all about this. But looking at the number of Hippogriff Riders, I guess by now he knows that it's not full on mass Hippogriff Riders. And there we go. Actually, that tier 3 tank is going for quite some time already. Didn't swap the Wisp in time, nice for Sonic. He's also getting tier 3, getting bears. He's preparing for a straight up fight as well. Players forces are under attack. But, I mean, Sonic is just buying time basically. He's not really getting so much out of this. He get, he's getting a unit pick off here and there. So that's something. Has to be careful that he doesn't lose anything of his own. And actually, he's working out really well so far. I mean, the thing is, Sonic has the worst unit composition. He's single hero. The thing with that is, though, he's actually getting so many good unit pickoffs that it actually pays off. That's basically what he has to get with this threat. Because this threat, this threat sucks. Pretty much. If you don't get such pickoffs. And since there's no Orb of Venom yet, he can easily go for good trades. It's hard to actually pick off Hippogriff Riders for Rich. Because they have quite some HP. So this is working out really, really well for Sonic so far. And it's really, really cool to see. I really like that. He's really switching it up a little bit. But especially at Orb, it's really so important. Like, he needs it against our Hippogriff Riders. Because Dryads really don't cut it. Archers are good. They don't. Ta they take reduced damage from purse damage because of their armor type and also because of... I think it's called Eludence Grace. They take like reduced damage from purse and magic damage so also from coils and such. A, and such. Staffing out here, doesn't want to get caught there. And just wants to heal up. Like Archers are really good against this, but Dryads just really aren't. I mean Dryads also the alone as such, but they also can easily get picked off. And it off when it helps a lot. I mean, look at those archers, they don't take so much damage at all. But the attack speed, as I said, the attack speed is crazy after the Riders. The damage, the damage value is not that big at all, but the attack speed is insane. He just picked off one archer and one dryad, and that's another 5 supply gun. He picked off a lot of wisps, he cancelled shop and ancient floor all over and over again. <laughs> Rich actually created some space here to build pr buildings there and all that, I guess. But there we go, that Orb of Venom, it hurts so much, it's insane. I mean... Well, it doesn't say how much damage per second the poison deals, but I think it's something like 8. Something like that. Basically, one Demon Hunter hit, if he like hits each Hippogriff once, it's like almost 100 damage on each Hippogriff. Roughly. So it's crazy what, what kind of damage output Demon Hunter can have there, if he spreads Orb of Venom all over the place. It's like, I don't know, roughly 60 damage or something over time. But this is working out so well for Sonic so far. He's already breaking up keep and that's the thing. Rich has a lot of gold, but not so much lumber. And we also see a mountain giant. Dude. This game. It's beautiful. Also see a mountain giant. Like, mountain giant is actually really quite nice. It takes reduced damage from magic, it takes reduced damage from piercing. So it's good against archers and talents. You can also easily heal it up at the healing fountains on this map, so that's also really good. And it also has normal damage against his archers, or siege damage against the Talon, so it's basically perfect. 
And Taunt is also quite nice, I guess. And the thing is, Sonic plus level 5 Demon Hunter, if he plays a single hero, which he probably will, the threat of level 6 Demon Hunter is really quite crazy. And the thing is, what I want to actually say earlier. Rich has a lot of gold, but he's really low on lumber. He only has 6 lumber wisps, and they're being bothered quite a bit all the time. Sonic already broke upkeep, so he's going for shit tons of army. And if Rich doesn't scout this, and if he's greedy again with staying on upkeep for ages, and he might especially do so now because he's still on lumber and wants to wait for more lumber, he could really get screwed over by like an 80 supply army while he's still on 50 supply. And there we go, another two wisps being picked off. Like, Rich just can't build units anymore because he doesn't have the lumber economy for it. He could have built more wisps, but he would have needed to break upkeep for that, and that's why he didn't do it. He's too greedy. He wants to bank more gold. And dude, like the potential of this backfiring him for backfiring for him is really high at this point. Like he could get screwed over so heavily by that. By being too greedy again. Also, his first angel of wind going into some hippogriffs. I mean DPS of hippogriffs rider hippogriff riders is not bad at all. It's really quite good. And he's going to Mahigriff Riders. It's going to be Hippogriff Rider Talon. It's really, really cool to see. And a force is Sonic should attack. probably even have an easy time getting a level 16 Hunter. Because he will definitely be able to at least get an equal trade in those fights. And level 16 Hunter is going to turn this around quite easily, I think. I mean, there's a level 3 Dark Ranger. Silence is going to be really good against Silence, probably. Did he just lose a Hippogriff Rider? Make sure I'm not sure. Oh no, it was the Wisp. Never mind. But like, bears don't do so much against this, mountain giant is fine, dryads are not that great against this, and like, there's gonna be so much cyclone. Like, that's another big thing. There's two dryads for this bomb, they can easily get killed by hipgriff riders, and even two dryads, even four dryads for this bomb. Against so many talents, there's basically infinite cyclone. So. If Rich doesn't get a really good silence on preferably all of the talents, he could get screwed over so heavily. Hunter's Hall now coming as well for Sonic, he wants to go into upgrades, doesn't want to break into high upkeep. And Rich finally breaking upkeep, for God's sake, dude. Like, it's so risky, I think. Sonic could already be pushing if he would want to. Also, Sonic has really good items on his team Hunter, he's getting closer and closer to level 6. Scouting around for expansions with that wisp, maybe Players gonna set up his own here. And, like, the cool thing about Hipgriff Riders is they can easily pick up units with their attack speed and they're hard to actually get killed, unless there's a demon hunter with Opal Venom, of course. And there are also only four supplies, so. It's not so much supply. Rich is Hipgriff getting caught here while scouting for an X, but it's really nice for Sonic there. But it doesn't die, so it's fine. But now Sonic is moving out. First upgrade is gonna is coming now for the subgriff riders. And also what like keep in mind what Sonic can still do is just get all of the archers from those hippogriffs. Put them on the ground. Attack. Then they have less DPS because the attack speed is definitely lower and also the attack value is a bit lower. But the thing is, should Rich actually invest into more hippogriffs, it's not worth it. Because then Sonic just unsettles, or however you call it in English, and just lets his hippogriffs rip apart the hippogriffs of Rich, and he's lost his archers on the ground. He actually went for a sneaky expansion behind us, I actually didn't see it, sorry for missing that. So that is why Sonic isn't really pushing yet, because he's just gonna pressure with an expansion. He doesn't want to go into, a, into Rich's base, and he just keeps the pressure up. If Rich leaves his base, that Goldmine is also going to suffer quite a bit, like it just did. But Goldmine is almost running out, so Rich will just be able to move his tree of eternity, but then there's more... Like, there's two spots where Sonic can pressure him with the subcrifers, like... The tree of eternity moving around to the next expansion spot, and also the main base, though. Fairy Dragon against Talons now, that's nice, but it can also easily get picked up. Demon Hunter just <laughs> diving in here, and he's like, nope, I'm out of here, never mind. But I don't know, like, Fairy Dragons, it's nice against those talents, of course, but... 
there's so many hippogriff riders and potentially hippogriffs. Second attack upgrade coming, like, Sonic is play, playing this so beautifully. He broke up Keeper Rider early, allowed him to get a lot of hippogriff riders, be prepared for a strong push by himself going for a push. He's instead just okay, staying at 80 supply, getting upgrades, and also he got an expansion up. He still needs to pick up those items now. Well, he's probably just gonna kill them. Because he doesn't have the inventory slots for him, he has boots already, Mental of Sentinel Shen sucks in this situation here. No more golden come for rich, and I mean, I mean, look at this. 64 against 80 supply, 2 zero upgrades, almost kicking in for the circuit drivers, and dude, that demon hunter! Has, oh god! That was so close, he almost didn't pull the invul pot. Like, damn, those super griff drivers definitely do some dash. And like, before it was 16 to 18, now with two attack reds, it's 21 to 27. That's so much value. And Rich still has quite a lot of gold, he's completely out of lumber though. No nature's blessing, it costs 200 lumber. Like that hip... This tactic is so cool! Like... Nature's blessing is 200 lumber, so Rich can get it, and like, Sonic's Hippogriff right her rest was so good... ...that... ...he just kept Rich on too low lumber count. It's so good! Rich cannot use his gold! He doesn't have the lumber for it. And his expansion is going to come up so late. Tree of Eternity is already over here with Nature's Blessing. He's going to creep this with Talent solo. Maybe get a nice item like Endurance Aura, Legion Doomhorn. Um, what is it called again? Like plus 4 strength, plus 4 agility. Um, I actually forgot the name. I actually forgot the name, never mind. But like with the Subcrafts, it's so easy to get pickoffs, although. It's also easy to pick them off if they're getting focused by Demon Hunter, Drys, and Hippogriff, right? um, Hippogriff and all that. But Rich still cannot really do okay, anything here. Like, are, Sonic okay. is buying so much time. He got one base economy against zero base economy. Rich still doesn't have enough lumber. And Sonic is gonna set the second expansion. You can easily creep this with the Cyclone on the Ogre Lord and with that mass magic damage on that Ogre Lord as well. Let's see what he gets here. And dude, like, look at this. Like, the DPS is insane. Free attack upgrades, 22 to 30 attack. And that Ancient Floor is gonna die. It's so good. Like, it's going to take ages for that expansion to settle. And then it's like, Angel, what the hell? Angel Chenko of Endurance as well, that's perfect. That's... Dude. A town is under siege. There we go, drops the trickled for it. He didn't kill his items, so he's just giving items to his opponent. Oh well. Not so nice, really. But he already got 1.6k gold out of this expo. This expo is going to come up quite soon as well. Like, what is Rich going to do? I mean, no, this is gonna start again. His whole base is dying. His ancient floor is already gone, the ancient protector is gone, Tree of Eternity is rooted in because Elsa would just die. Because if it's, if a tree is rooted in, for those who don't know, it has fortified armor. So it takes really reduced damage from first attacks especially. But if it's uprooted, it still has two armor value, but it has heavy armor instead, so it's much easier to kill. And like Sonic, he's just gonna kill us. He already got a level 16 100, he got enough pickoffs. He got a level 16 100 by just harassing like this. And that tree of eternity is gonna fall. Sonic still has a one basic card to be. And he's breaking into a high upkeep even. He broke into a high upkeep, he doesn't have golden come right now anyway. He got Endurance Aura, so even more attack speed for those Hippogriff Riders. Very fucking fast, dude. It's insane. Free one upgrades for the Hippogriff Riders. He can easily snipe out those Riots. Level 16 and is just gonna obliterate those Archers. And like, level 3 Demon is never gonna be level, free, level 16 and Rich. He has to get a really good silence on the talents, but there's so many talents he can silence all of them at once, even if Rich A moves. There's Superman, there's the Metamorphosis, and like, Dude, there's no way Rich is gonna win this, is there? That silence, it hit almost every single talent that was good. Fairy Dragons are gone though, and the silence is gonna be gone quite soon as well. And like, look at the Demon Hunter, he just melts. Everything melts. And look at the attack speed. It's insane. Sonic with that beautiful Hippogriff. He's still at 83 supply, he didn't lose a single unit. He didn't lose a single unit in that fight. Like... Dude, 
pro-level game Hippogriff Riders not losing a single unit in this fight. <laughs> Little more background, I could have had that fight. Damn straight, dude. Of course. Damn, that was just beautiful.